Hi there. A few weeks ago, uh, I took my caravan out and um, the flush started, stopped working. So we're going to go inside now and see if we can fix it. Hope you enjoy this. I've been on the internet and um, I've just found out that actually under here is a control panel and I've got to peel off this uh, little sticker. I'm not quite sure whether it's actually going to um, uh, go back on all right and uh, you can buy them on the internet. Um, so I'm just going to gently try to get this off. I've got a few implements here. Uh, I've oh, got the other thing as well. There we go. So there we go. So I'm going to try my best to get this off without breaking it. So I'm not sure if that's going to be possible, but uh, here we go. On the internet they show using one of these, but I've got one of these as well. Maybe this will be better. Hmm. Oh, it seems to be coming off a lot easier than I thought it would. Ah, not hard at all actually. Oh, there we go. And there's the unit. Will that go back on? Maybe, maybe not. They cost 8 95 which seems quite a lot, but I don't know, I'll try put it back on, but whether I will or not, I don't know. So this is the unit here, let's have a look. Gonna need a screwdriver, so we'll be back in a minute. Oh. Right, here we go. I'm gonna try on my glasses, that wouldn't really do. Gonna put those somewhere safe behind there. Right, so let's see if I can figure this out. Aha, here we go. There's the unit. These are about £22 apparently. Mm, there's a lot of water in here, that's probably not going to do it any good, is it? Well, it's not working, maybe. It's just. Looks a bit corroded as well. I wonder why it's got water in there, that's really not good. If it's just condensation or something. It's a bit mouldy as well, so that means that there is water in there just sitting around. I suppose this must just pull off. Oh, there we go. There we go, there's the little connectors. Hmm, they don't look the best, I've got to say. A bit corroded maybe. So I'm just going to go and get my uh, terminal cleaners and uh, should have brought it all in, but there you go. So I've got my uh, terminal cleaners, which hopefully these will clean the terminals a bit. There they are, one brass, one garden, fiber and one steel. God knows which one's best, but anyway, uh, let's have a look. I can't even see where it goes in. Oh, there it is, it goes in there. Doesn't look that good at all. And these can't be changed, so I've got to be careful with these. That I gotta say, what is damp in there? Well, I suppose it's obvious, but it shouldn't be damp in there. Maybe there's a leak re or something. Hmm. Anyway, let's have a look <coughs> with this contact cleaner. Yeah, 
let's just give it a bit of a clean with this. Uh, oh, that's cold. <laughs> Probably some sort of alcohol. Mm, looks like it's cleaned it off nicely. I should have done that. Not, uh, yeah. mm, stinks. Probably not good for me. Can give me some form of cancer or something later on in my life. But there you go. Really, right, so basically the problem with it was that I pushed the flush down to flush and then I went outside and then it came back and the flush kept on thing and it emptied the whole tank right up into the bowl. It was a total nightmare. So uh, luckily the tank is not bigger than the bowl, so it didn't actually um, flood the caravan, which is a bit of a, a bit of a bonus. So uh, I'm hoping now that when I plug the um, uh, fuse back in outside, then hopefully it's not going to be running constantly, which is what the problem was before. So let's have a look. There we are. Now is that going to work now? I'll just pop round and um, turn off the, or turn, put the fuse back in and see what happens. You can be the um, uh, judge of whether it works or not. I can't actually remember which one this goes in. Sure, that must be that one. moment of truth let's see what happens doesn't work at all that's not a good start that's a real pain that is I think I gotta buy a new one basically that's it and actually while I'm at it I might as well get that so I'm gonna take this out now take it inside and have a look on the internet get my purchase sorted out. There we go. That's what it looks like. A new one of those I think. In this caravan I've put a new pump in. I've put a new pump in. I've put one of these in. There's a little unit down there as well which I'm not quite sure what that's called. Could be that as well but um, if I replace this, this is $22.95 I think. This is $8.95. Um, I don't know if you can get the one in the, in the thing, but surely that must fix it. Anyway, when I've come in, I'll let you know. So, um, okay, so we've uh, come inside now and uh, we're going to have a look on the computer and uh, order the bits and pieces um, that I need. I've done some research, so I know where I'm going to buy it from. I'll, I'll just take you through the process so that uh, you can see how much they cost. Okay, so here we go. Let's type in Bedford. Uh, here we go. So, there we go. I think I'm going to have one of these fuses as well because my mine, I'm pretty sure mine are fine, but I'm just going to buy them anyway. They don't cost very much. And then everything will be fixed, hopefully. So, let's see if we can find the other bits. No, no. Uh, oh, there we go. So that's the, this is the other thing I need. This is the reed switch. switch. This uh, detects uh, how full the um, uh, the tank is. So it gives you that warning, that little red light warning. So I think I'm gonna replace that as well because um, I'm replacing the other things. And for 8 99 I'm just gonna replace all the electrical items so that I know that everything is going to work. Now, Find 
Oh, the overlay there, it's 827. That's an awful lot of money for the overlay, but I don't really want to have, I want it to look nice when I finish and it's 827. It's an awful lot, but there you go. Put that in there as well. Let's have a look what, ah, there we go. And this is the control panel. Uh, you have to check which one is the right one for you, but uh, this is the right one for me. Luckily it's the cheaper one, 1999, um, which, uh, it seems like good value to me actually and I thought it was 22 or 23 pounds or perhaps I saw it on another site that it was 23 pounds but uh, let's have a look so I'll have that as well so let's have a look at my basket to see what um, the total is going to be there we go so my fuses my reed switch control panel uh, overlay so the whole oh my god oh that's because I've done it earlier better put in one not two that's because i was practicing earlier there we go there we go let's have a look now what's the price now recalculate recalculate there we go ah there we are that's better that's much more reasonable oh my god that was close um so i've got all the things so yeah okay so as you can see the total is going to be uh, 38.40 delivery 3.99 they're not very heavy and it's a grand total of uh, 42.39 so there we go right so um well, all we've got to do now is to wait for them to thing and then i'll see you in a little bit when uh, they come through the post oh that's the great thing about the internet isn't it you can just order it up online i get it it's simple really uh that's why all the shops are going out of business but there you go uh okay so see you later so we're back now um i've got all the uh, relevant bits i've got the uh, bits they didn't cost too much actually so that was really good uh this is the uh what is this this is the reed switch to, to tell the level i thought that might be broken i've got a new one of these uh that's the panel that goes in here and i've got uh, a new sticker to go on the top so it looks nice when i have finished it uh but when I, just after I ordered it, uh, I realised that uh, one of the reasons why it might not be working is that when I tested it, I didn't actually have the uh, cassette back in. So maybe that's why it had a safety switch and uh, that's why it didn't work. So I thought I'd just put the original back in uh, and see what happens. Uh, so <laughs> here we go. Let's uh, plug this back in. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit. There we go, that's about right. So let's have a look. Where's the. Oh, there it is. So. Oh, I forgot to turn the caravan electrics on. I'll be back in a sec. tight in here right so we're ready oh now let's just have a look to see what happened still nothing it's not a good feature maybe it is broken it's time to put the new one on Instructions. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I've done. Ooh, so it looks like in the instructions you've got to take it out of the housing, which I couldn't have done with my other one. There we go. That's what it looks like inside. It's got to go in like that, I think. Perhaps I ought to turn the electric off before plugging it in. Oh my God, this is turning into a nightmare. Ah. All right, just putting this in like this. There we 
car. That should be in there now. Whether it works or not, who knows. So I think I'll replace this as well or not. I bought it. No, they're all correct. Pretty good instructions. Photos. There's a the unit at the back. Pull it out. New one in. Oh, not easy with your left hand. Let's hope that's fixed it. Back now, I've uh, actually put the new reed switch in, put the case, the, the cassette back in. Well, it's a moment of truth. I've turned the electricity on. Is it going to work? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, how brilliant is that? Oh, I'm so pleased. <laughs> After all that work. Oh, oh bliss. Absolute bliss. <laughs> God, that was very, very complicated. But there you go. I'm not quite sure what was the thing was thing was what was the problem. Uh, I put a new one of those in. I put a new reed switch in. I put a new fuse in. Everything's new. Uh, all I've got to do now is put this nice new sticker back on it. I wonder if they've got nice new instructions in it as well. Let's have a look. No, oh, better read the instructions. They do like to give instructions and very good instructions. Well done, Thetford. I would say that that is a pretty good job. Look, they've even got nice photographic instructions for that. Using a shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, perfect. Right, nice shot. Right. Eight pounds. 69 for this seems a bit expensive but it's going to look lovely when it's on there Got to clean the outside properly there we are Easy to put on accurately. Ooh, nearly bent it there. Oh, it looks like it might be stuck at that level. Pleased. Nice. Very pleased. <laughs> oh, after all that effort, it works. That didn't work, that didn't work. Never mind. Just replacing it was straightforward enough. Thank you, Thatford, for all those nice instructions. They are great. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hope I'll make some more. Very good. <laughs>